Okay, so I'm gonna copy the data and I'm going to put it onto my Excel spreadsheet by pasting match destination, oops, by match destination formatting. There we go. So now I highlight those and I don't know why it loses focus when I do that every time. And I'm gonna insert a scatter with lines. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the layout. I'm gonna put the chart, chart title above the chart. And I'm gonna put absorbance of chlorophyll. Okay. Oh, if I can spell absorbance, I put that there. And again, I, this is my hands in the way. There's nothing I can do about that. I've just got to try and remember to get them out of the way. So I'm going to the uh, vertical and I'm going to put the title. So I went to, you know, access titles and I hit the vertical. And so now I'm basically going to put in absorbance and hit enter. And then I'm going to go to the axis title and oh, I've got to click on the graph apparently. Stop. You gotta love this. All right. And I'm going to do the primary horizontal and display below. And that is going to be wavelength. L-E-N-G-T-H. And it's in nanometers. So I'm going to hit enter there. All right. So the first question it asks it says, what is the absorbance at 450 nanometers? And um, so I'm just going to pop that up here. So 450 nanometers. Um, first off, I'm going to just click on this and just get it a little bit bigger so I can see it better. Uh, kind of when I'm doing this, I'm also not liking the units every 100 it's labeled. So I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna do the axis, um, the horizontal axis. I'm gonna change the major from 100 because I don't like that. So I'm gonna change it from 100 to 50 and I'm gonna close. And so now I've got every 50, which is nice. And so um, I'm also gonna put in some grid lines well, it makes up my life a lot easier if I can put in some nice grid lines too. So I'm going to put in some grid lines there as well. So you can see 450, you know, if we go up here and we hit the graph, we're a little bit above, slightly above 0.5. Looks like we're at like maybe 0.51 or something. Um, we could kind of figure it out even better if we, you know, again, went to axes and this, we went to the primary vertical and I'm going to go to the major unit. It's 0.1. So I'm going to change this to 0.05. And there we go. So now it's more accurate there. So we go from 450 up. And you can see it kind of hits maybe like at a 0.51, you know, it's a little bit above the 0.5 where it hits. So maybe 0.51. And then we can look at this. If the absorbance is 0.55. So I'm going to just copy that. I'll put it over here. All right, if the absorbance is 0.55, I'm going to come over here and hit right there and follow the line down, and it's at 410. Okay. Um, it's also, though, if you go over here, you can see it is right here. That's 0.55 also, 
and that's right before the 450 so it's at about 440 okay so if you just follow that line down it's at about 440 all right so the last question well two questions which they're kind of hand in hand it says what's the difference between the colors and you see the blue indigo violet there's more absorbance more much more absor absorbance much more absorbance at the um blue indigo biv because the shorter the wavelength the ng the shorter the wavelength the more energy there is you know the plants they know that they're not stupid they know that the more more energy um you know the shorter the wavelength the more energy there is so they might as well you know absorb a lot more in that area than in this area and so that's why that is the case